So I just want to take a quick look at this pen, the uh, Pilot Juice Up. Recently, I did a video about the Pilot Juice, which is a very affordable, very high quality, but low price retractable pen from Pilot. It's a gel pen that uses pigmented ink. So it's you know like a fade resistant ink. This pen sells for under $2 here in the US. So again, very affordable and you could buy them in, if you buy them in like 12 packs, you're looking at like a dollar per pen. So great pen, very affordable. The Juice Up is the premium version of the Juice and has some of the same high qualities, like the qualities you would buy the Juice for, but also some upgrades as well. Uh, so the, uh, the main thing to know is that the ink has been upgraded. It's still pigmented, which means it's uh, water-based because it's a, you know, a gel pen, but it uh, has a fade resistant and water resistant qualities. So that's what the pigment does to it. So you get what you're looking for from the juice ink, but now it's in a smoother flowing ink. Also it has a different tip. The juice has just a, a normal conical tip. The juice up uses this sort of modified tip which is a combination of a conical and needle point. Uh, if you looked at a standard needle tip pen or needle point pen, uh, you'd see it's uh, a slightly different shape from this. So it's sort of a hybrid design. Uh, to me, it writes just like a needle tip, but it is a little bit smoother than your standard uh, G-Tag or something like that. Or high tech C for that matter, depending on where you're buying it. Uh, and then on the design side, this one has a sort of affordable old school design. It's like kind of very standard Zira type design. It has some cool qualities to it, like, you know, a gel grip and the uh, spring loaded clip. But again, it's pretty plain. Once you go to the juice up, you're seeing a big change in that design. Opaque black body. It's not metal, but it definitely looks metallicized. A uh, modified clip here, which is very cool and designy. Kind of looks like something from Lamy. Obviously, the clip is built into the button, which is pretty cool. Much smoother design. Grippy grip section. So this is uh, rubber. And now we have a, I believe this is metal, but it may just be metal look. It's hard to tell. You know, I think it's coated plastic, but definitely looks to be metal. So, uh, you know, aesthetically, it's your call as to which one you prefer. I think most people say the Juice Up does look like a higher quality, more recently designed pen. Has some nice features here, like some translucent parts of the body. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, but uh, aesthetically, it is pretty nice. This pen is refillable, but it is kind of hard to open the first two times. In fact, it's not really clear immediately if you were to open it at this seam here or right here, but it is in the middle. And when you open it up, uh, there's no extra parts or anything. Uh, nothing's gonna fall out. The spring is wedged into the tip section. There's the refill looks kind of like the refill on a high-tech C, uh, but a little fatter. And the tip definitely looks like the high-tech C, though it has the uh, kind of an end here. Uh, not like a Parker, but uh, with that little, uh, those little crenellations there. So the tips, the uh, sorry, the refills are not perfectly interchangeable. And we were to open this one up. You can see it actually uses a different end there, it uses a flat end, kind of in a, a standard G2 cartridge or whatever. All back together, no problems there. And quick writing test, and then we'll jump to the conclusions. I'm using this Clarfontaine Triumph paper. And uh, one thing to note, actually, before we get too far, is that the Juice Up is available in a limited varieties of colors and sizes relative to the Juice. 
the juice is available in like everything. 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 1.0 millimeter. I love it in the 1.0 millimeter. And then a huge range of colors. If you want to get the juice, I believe I've only seen it sold, sorry, the juice up. I've only seen it sold in the 0.3 and 0.4 millimeters. I bought it in the 0.4 millimeter. And then the color range is limited as well. Uh, you could buy it in a blue, a gold, metallic. So there's like a fair range of colors in the juice up, but the juice has a, just a giant selection. Uh, and the juice ups do have, uh, you know, silvers and gold and violet and stuff like that. So there's a good selection, but uh, it's very limited as far as sizes go. It's really just the 0.3 and the 0.4 millimeters that I know about. Okay. So first up, we are writing with the Pilot Juice. Very smooth, nice lines. And, and keep in mind, this is the 1.0 millimeter, so this is not apples to apples. I should have bought this in a smaller size, but I really do like it in that 1.0. And this is the Juice Up 0.4 millimeter. So it writes very smoothly for a 0.4 millimeter, millimeter uh, a lot more smoothly than the other needle tips I have in this size. So I really do like that. A little bit of smearing, uh, not too bad. This is like a very smooth, non-absorbent paper. Uh, so keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, this is it's a really nice 0 0.4 millimeter. It's a smooth needle tip. Uh, it's a smoother than the high tech C or any and most of the other day to day needle tips you might be using. Uh, you're not maybe quite as smooth as like a Pentel 0 0.7 millimeter. But really what you're doing here is you're getting that really clean, really thin line. So if you're into like journaling or you have to write a lot of notes in a small space, uh, this is a really solid pen and you're getting a lot of smoothness out of it that you wouldn't be getting uh, out of a similar size pen from some other manufacturers. So yeah, all told, I really like the Juice Up. I think it's a really great pen. Uh, and if I need a smaller tip size, I, I generally reach for this one. Uh, Again, when my day-to-day -day writing, I like a, a larger size, so I like the juice, but I, I do believe the juice up to be a higher quality pen and worth the extra money. Uh, just 0.4 is like great under most circumstances, but not under all circumstances. So uh, you are getting a really smooth 0.4 though. So worth keeping that in mind. Uh, if any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching.